Hi, it's the Brooker That Gratitude Guy. Today's topic, it takes courage. I thought about some recent conversations I've had with people where they made big changes in their life, personally, professionally, uh, physically, fitness, mentally, did uh, different things where they wanted to go on a different course. And I remember saying, if you want to change your life, change your life. Well, these people did it. They took on some different uh, challenges and, and uh, really overcame them. But I thought about, it, it takes courage. And one of the best ways to really, really get your courage is to be grateful for what you have. Because there's so many people around you, they're going to discourage you. Turn on the uh, TV, listen to the radio, whatever it is, it's all negative. Read the newspaper. It's always what's wrong. One of the things I talk about so much in gratitude, and especially with a gratitude journal is, a gratitude journal focuses on everything you have in your life versus what you don't have. So think about the, that the next time you're about to do something different in your life, that it takes courage. Surround yourself with people that really will encourage you to take those steps and to make those changes in your life. Life takes many, many twists and turns. I've said many times when I was 18 years old, I had a plan for my life. Well, not only did that plan not work out the way I thought it was, I haven't met anybody who ever got the plan they thought they were going to get. But I have decided that success in life comes out with that, comes from how you do, I'll get it, comes from how you deal with the plan you got versus the one you thought you were going to get. So remember, it takes courage. Use gratitude to keep yourself encouraged and stay away from those people that discourage you. That's the message for today. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a grateful day.